Proverbs 10, 25 says, As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous is an everlasting foundation. At the suggestion and the decrees of our state and our national governments, many people have made a decision to alter their lifestyle because of impending danger. As a result of what's taken place, we have over 25 million people who have lost their source of income and in many instances, freedom of movement. All of this in the last two months because some, I quote, experts, unquote, prophesied that there would be millions of deaths worldwide because of COVID-19, known also as the China, Chinese flu. How we dress, how we socialize has been dramatically changed in these two months. Many people wear face masks to protect themselves and others. Some wear rubber gloves. And many are practicing what we call social distancing, staying six feet away from other folks. Why six feet? Nobody seems to know. But that's another day, another story. Schools have been closed and some are doing their studies at home, though most of those are very limited. Churches have held parking lot services, and in some cases, police have come and ticketed and tried to shut them down. Some churches, like ourselves, are doing live streaming, whereby people can uh, observe and see, take a little bit of part in services. And many are just simply closed. And all of this out of fear for our lives. The problem is there's very little fear of God. The lack of this fear of God means that they haven't changed their lifestyle in his regard, nor their way of thinking. Conversations are consumed with this virus, while little is said of the Lord's great love and his grace. You know, basically, there are two lifestyles from which to choose. One is satisfying all fleshly desires. The other is seeing the utter danger of our sin and its impending judgment and turning to God for forgiveness. Thus, as we choose him, we now have the power to live righteously. Now, this proverb makes it very clear that swift judgment is awaiting the sinful man. When I see the word whirlwind as it passes, it reminds me of July 15th, 1988. One day after our wedding, our 25th wedding anniversary, within 15 minutes time, much of our city was destroyed by tornado. Many believe as many as five. What drastic changes occurred as buildings were knocked down and trees were ripped up. Hardly anybody in the west end of our town didn't have some sort of mess to clean up. Well, when we go to the Bible, we find that, matter of fact, most children know this story. Uh, at least they sing the song about the two houses. We find in Matthew chapter 7, the Lord Jesus speaking says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened to a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. A couple of things we need to understand from that narrative the Lord gives us. And that is, the storms of life comes on everybody. But there are those who endure because they have chosen God's ways. And there are those who we find are no more afterwards. Uh, the storms of life have overtaken this whirlwind he speaks of in Proverbs, I believe it's a tornado, it's going to come. 
and it will come when at least expected to do so. What's important is that the foundation of our life has been uh, built. And that foundation is upon our decision to do so. The Proverbs, by what tremendous, tremendous teaching we have. But they are replete with verses demonstrating the contrast between the wicked and the righteous. Contrasting what uh, happens to one, what happens to the other. Just two or three to give you illustration. Proverbs 13, verse 14 and 15 says, The law of the wise is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Chapter 14, verse 11 says, The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. Chapter 15, verse 6, And the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. How is your foundation built? Is it built upon the word of God? Is it built upon the love and the mercy and the grace of God? Or is it built upon just satisfying your fleshly pleasures? The choice is yours. You can choose Christ and righteousness, or you can choose to keep on going the direction you are and find the whirlwind coming and destroying the house. I trust that you make right decisions if not done so. I trust that those who have, that it might uh, cause them to just be so thankful for what God has done in their life. May God bless you today.